Hey, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to talk about something that is relevant to all bass players as we like to take our basses and go places and play. So if you think back to the earliest days where all there was was acoustic basses or upright basses, getting from A to B with that big instrument was quite the challenge. If you think of the octo basses, they were built in a location and left there forever because nobody wanted to move them move on to a full-size upright, you are lugging the veritable doghouse and getting it from point A to B is quite the feat. I remember reading about players that would strap their instrument on the roof of their car because it didn't even fit inside of their vehicle. So getting to where they want to perform was always a huge challenge. I believe that's part of the reason that as they we're looking at electric instruments and good old Leo Fender and Paul Tootmark. We're looking at making something that would be more portable but still loud enough to perform. Electric basses were the solution, but still with the longer neck, the weight of the electric bass, size and portability is still kind of a challenge. And so we've seen over the years some smaller entries, short scale bases, U bases are great for traveling, travel bases that are specifically designed to do that. So today we're going to take a look at something that I think you're going to find very interesting because the entire base will fit in this bag. So let's check out the Overhead Electric Blue Purple Color Shift Travel Bass Guitar from Journey Instruments. First impression when the box arrived is how is it possible that there could be a bass inside of this? Anyway, open the box and the first thing you encounter is the backpack. The backpack is carry-on size and is made out of high-grade 1050D ballistic weave polyester. It has padded handles and straps for your comfort. It has a vented fabric adjacent to the straps so that while you're wearing this it'll breathe and you won't sweat quite so much. The interior has a velour fabric so that your instrument surfaces won't get damaged or abraded. Plus it's loaded with padding for your instrument at well to help protect it. Also inside they've made this so that you don't just have the base inside of there. There's all these additional pockets and cubbies where you can have your stuff. So it has two mesh pockets for water bottles. It has all kinds of little storage areas. So you could easily take a spare shirt, change of clothing, gear, whether it be cable, strings, you name it. There's just a lot of room in this bag. It was really, really well thought out. Now, because the neck detaches, it has a separate sleeve and that is a padded sleeve. So when you've got the whole thing collapsed, that sleeve will fit inside of the backpack. However, they did the design so that you could also transport this base fully assembled. And basically what you do is you use that sleeve, kind of fits on top of it all, and they've got a cutout so the neck can go through there. And it's kind of like a gig bag with just a whole bunch of storage. In addition, you've got a horizontal strap that allows you to attach it on the telescoping handle of your other carry-on luggage. And that way you can kind of piggyback two bags one on top of the other. It just makes it that much easier to transport. Now, when we're going to look at the base itself, you have three basic components. You have the headstock, the neck, and the body. Starting with the headstock, it has two stainless steel pins that fit nicely inside of the neck, very precision fashion. And then that in turn, it's got like a ledge in the body that you kind of slide that in and rotate it back so that you can activate the latch and lock bolt mechanism. So you're turning that key on the bolt mechanism to secure the neck to the body. It's important to point out, it doesn't require any tools. Assembly took less than a minute. Other clever things they did is there's a string retainer attached to the headstock that keeps those strings in order so you don't have this random tangle of strings going everywhere. And that's what helps it go together very quickly that way. When you look at it assembled, 
things fit very nicely in a very precise way. So you can't really tell that you've had this thing taken apart just a moment ago. Looking at the base itself, it has a standard 1 and 11 16 inch bone nut. Right next to that, you've got a zero fret. They've done this design. And again, you've got the string retainer holding everything into place. This is a 30 inch scale, so short scale, so you can use regular short scale bass strings. It has 18 frets with dotted fret markers and it has the Journey logo at fret number 12. The body is poplar and it's solid wood. It is a single cut with bevels for your comfort and it is very ergonomic, it feels very comfy when you're wearing it. It has a satin maple neck, which is medium U-shape, and that has a carbon fiber reinforcement rod inside of it. The fingerboard is a composite material, which is environmentally sustainable because it is recycled paper and resin, so they're not sacrificing any of the hardwoods that are so endangered. There's a very nice uh, touch there, but feels nice and smooth and feels like it's gonna be nice and hard and wear. It has medium nickel brass fret wires and they're nicely finished. All of the edges are just nicely smooth and so it's very comfortable. When we look at the hardware, it's got kind of a chrome, generalized nickel chrome kind of shiny glossy hardware. The tuners are 18 to 1 locking base tuners. It has a steel hardtail bridge. And again, that has a string through design so that the balls of the string come from the back. That gives you as much length as you can possibly get on a short scale. Electronics wise, you've got two pickups. One is a split, the other is a full single coil. They're both passive. And as far as control knobs, you've got three. The first one, which is closest to the neck, is the volume of the neck split pickup. The next knob is the volume of the bridge pickup. And the final one, which is the farthest away, is your master tone control. So you can kind of play around and find your proper sound there. The body is done in a high gloss polyurethane finish. And I will mention that the neck has a matte polyurethane finish. So it is not glossy, but feels nice and smooth. And again, this color pattern of the blue purple just allows it the light to hit it in all kinds of ways. It just looks gorgeous. Dimension wise, weighs in at 9.3 pounds. If it's in the case, you're looking at just over 13 pounds. Fully assembled, the base is about 38 inches. And again, is just a classic short scale base. Okay, so we've had a great opportunity to take a closer look at the overhead electric blue purple color shift travel bass guitar. That is a mouthful. And this is a great instrument with a bunch of wonderful design characteristics. The fact that you can pack it into your backpack and go places, and yet you can have the full sound of a bass is really great. The finishing details, it's super comfortable ergonomically feels good. You can see it's nicely balanced here. The sound trace that you get from electronics, yes, they're passive, but between the volume controls and the tone controls, you can kind of dial it into a sound that you like 
and it's such a clean sound, I think it would work well if you're going to feed it into uh, a preamp, a tone hammer, a pedal, a whatever you want to do, looping station. You know, you could really play with it, but you've got a great foundation to work with. The strings are very, very comfortable. This is round wounds. I'd be curious to hear what it would sound like with flat rounds. So that could be another fun modification. But you know, it's kind of a blank slate and you can do an awful lot with it. The one thing that I would modify, what I've done, especially with this one, is that the strap button is at a little bit of an angle up here. And this is an older strap, so it wanted to kind of like slip off. So if you make sure, if you got this, make sure you got a nice crisp new strap or use a strap lock clip to help hold it on so that you don't have any accidental release of this. So that said, you've seen it here. This is the overhead electric blue purple color shift travel bass guitar. If you want more information, go to journeyinstruments.com. This is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, bringing you the latest and the greatest in the world of bass.